Hello world and welcome to London and the ICC Arena at XL. I'm the 63rd and reigning Miss World, Megan Young. In 30 minutes time, contestants from 121 countries will enter this arena in the hope of becoming the 64th Miss World. We'll be bringing you all the latest news in the build-up to the Miss World final and chatting to some of the stars. I'm Frankie Chen and I'll be going behind the scenes to meet the contestants as they prepare for their big moment. We'll also be finding out just what it takes to stage the biggest event in beauty. It's all coming up as we count down to the Miss World 2014 final. The contestants arrived here just over three weeks ago and as we are about to see they were determined to make the most of their time in the most exciting city in the world london miss world is coming back home to the place where it all began back in 1951 the fabulous city of london One hundred twenty-five contestants have traveled here from around the world and have spent time getting to know one of the most important cities in the world. London is home to over 12 million people and is world famous for its buildings, arts and business sector. Our ladies are staying in the heart of London and will be perfectly placed for a spot of sightseeing. And what better way to travel than on the top of a double-decker bus? Wow. We're about to leave on our tour of London. Can't wait. So here we are on our lovely little tour of the finest city in the world. We're going to get some good pictures on our little tour. It might be winter, but the sun is out and these girls just want to have fun. In days past, Miss World contestants were fair game for photographers. But these days, it seems that things are the other way around. This just what makes me so happy. Uh, the weather is amazing for a London day. It's freezing, but it's beautiful. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. This is my first time in London, and I am happy for being there. After a whistle-stop tour of London, there's only one thing these fashionistas want to do. Shopping! London's a great place for an evening out. And no visit here is complete without a meal and celebrity surroundings. And a trip to the West End to see the best show in town. I heard it's a fabulous love story and I'm looking forward to see it for the first time. After enjoying the music of the night, there's even a rare opportunity to meet the cast and crew. Nice to meet you, I'm Geronimo. Nice to meet you, I'm Courtney. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Every day I go, just enjoy it. And you do. Yeah! London has loved hosting Miss World 2014. And as the sun sets on this year's show, we're already looking forward to next time. Dressing room 13, Frankie Chenna. I guess I really am presenting Miss World. I'm with Tim Vincent. I told you I'm not sharing with Frankie. Oh, hello, Frankie. <laughs> oh, hi, Tim. So you've hosted Miss World twice before. It's I your have. third time. It is. How do you feel? Um, well, it's a big show, obviously. There's, you know, 121 contestants on stage all wearing high heels. Some, some things do go wrong on occasions. Uh, it goes live around the world. We've got over a billion people watching live. The stage itself this year is 60 metres wide, 30 metres deep, and we've got the vamps. Some of the biggest musical stars ever have appeared on the stage in Miss World. Uh, we've had uh, Westlife, we've had Lionel Richie. It's nothing to get nervous about. Are you feeling nervous? Uh, no. In, no. Not in any shape at all? Uh, maybe a little. Oh, okay, well, don't be nervous. Whatever you do, it's just you. You, me and, and Megan, we're going to be live on this show. Listen, I've got to go to the toilet. Help, help yourself in there, but don't touch my food oh, or my seat. Thanks, Tim. These young people are our future. They're going to change our world only because there's such a thing as Miss World Beauty with a Purpose. When you asked to pick, pick a winner, quite honestly, there wasn't one out of the 27 that couldn't have won it. My God. We were supposed to choose five. It's almost impossible because it was really fantastic. Everyone knows Miss World, the planet's most famous beauty competition. But there's another side to the show, and without a doubt, the most important one. 
in 72, 1972, I was in Singapore and learned from a marvelous lady who was about 83, and I couldn't understand it. I said to her, why every day you do the same thing? You wash the children and you feed them and then you go away. But she said, I know that, is it not better to light one candle in the darkness than not to see it all? And when she saw what we were doing, um, I said, you know, I want to make it beauty with a purpose. And she said, and so you shall, and we'll start today. Beauty with a Purpose has raised millions of pounds for charities around the world. And every competitor comes to the competition with her own charity. Over the years, the women have always been beautiful. But beauty is so much more. This year, I believe that everyone has come with an entry. And today, we've sat and we've interviewed 27. And uh, when you asked to pick, pick a winner, Quite honestly, there wasn't one out of the 27 that couldn't have won it. This year, the quality of the videos and the choices of charities have surpassed anything in previous years. It's very difficult to, to compare the different projects and it is very difficult to choose because all the projects are very interesting and very beautiful. They are just amazing, these young women. They are so committed to what they're doing. Every, every project is worthwhile. When you see the abuse to women, these women can change that. So from simple projects like making a bridge to cross a river to go to school, to touching 35,000 people who are affected in malaria, to children in jails because their parents are in jail, so they accompany them for their whole life, to child abuse, women abuse, you know. I, I'm amazed with the kind of spread that I saw here today. We know that uh, this competition is a competition between the most beautiful girls in the world, but it's also a competition between the most beautiful hearts in the world. There's no doubt that beauty with a purpose has made a real impact around the world. I have seen the differences made in different countries for the lives of children, I see the changes in people's attitudes towards beauty. These girls are, they're not stupid, they're incredibly intelligent, and most of them enormously committed. There's 12% of my Egyptian population of homeless people. And maybe I'm not homeless, but I'm blessed to be educated enough to start thinking how these people are feeling. In Jamaica, our mentality is that when we don't understand autism, we tend to say they're bad behaving and we dismiss them. I like to think of it as these girls are all linked together like a precious chain. They're here joining hands, working together. They go back to their own countries and if they stay linked, they truly can change the world. And this year, we were privileged to see history made at a charity auction when Miss World 1953 Denise Perrier donated her original winner's trophy to raise funds for Beauty with a Purpose. £10,000 bid, £11,000 bid, £16,000 bid. There was some fierce bidding for this item, and the end result was more than we dared hope for. Going once, going twice. £30,000 sold! Incredible. Thanks to the generosity of Denise and the bidder, Beauty with a Purpose can continue to help people all over the world. I'm here with the ladies, moments before dances of the world, moments before entering the stage. Miss Wales, how do you feel? I'm super excited. I'm a huge fan of Sky Blue, but I'm obviously a little bit nervous as it's the opening, but uh, here we go. And Miss Canada, we have the Vamps as well. What do you think of them? Yes, they are so fun to sing along to, and I can't wait to dance along to them. Okay, well, it's 10 minutes of the show. We have just enough time for the final sports VT. Sports and fitness is a key asset to any Miss World. You need the strength and the stamina. Travel to 50 countries in 50 weeks and always be at your best. The 121 contestants are first put through a tough elimination round at the Marriott County Hall to see who will go on to the Sports Day Final. Out in front was South Africa with 20 points. Then it was off to the Lee Valley Athletic Center with the top 32 contestants split into four teams. The first event of the day 
was a 60-meter race. It was such a close race that it was necessary to show a photo finish of Cote d'Ivoire just 0.02 of a second in front of Finland and South Africa coming in third. In the second race, Hungary took an easy win over the rest of the field. The third race saw Haiti and Mexico run away with an easy first and second, and the final round of the 60-meter went to England, who threw herself over the line with a win over Lesotho. Next up, the long jump, with the girls taking the best score of three jumps. The early leader was South Africa, closely followed by Finland, but both missed out on the top spot thanks to this jump from Hungary at 4.28 meters. On to the last of the single events, the bleep test, which saw the blue team take on the yellow and the reds take on the greens. It saw Hungary of the green team in a three-way race with South Africa of the blues and Finland of the yellows. After a tough battle, South Africa takes the win with Finland at second. On to the first of the two team events, the 4x200 meter relay. Mexico got a great start with Cote d'Ivoire right behind and takes the lead into the first corner. On the last lap, it was Finland with a 20 meter head start over Hungary. Not to be outdone, Hungary digs deep and narrows the gap. Into the final corner, she is only 2 meters behind Finland and gaining ground, but Finland just takes the win. The tug of war final came down to the blue and red teams, with the reds coming out on top. It's off to the prize giving to see who won both the team and individual events. The overall team prize for 2014 goes to the yellow team. And for the individual results, third was South Africa, second was Hungary, and Finland! Five, four, um, three, two, applause, applause, applause. one, zero. And so we go. I'm here in Mission Control. Sorry to interrupt, Mr. That's director. All right, that's all. Stuart McDonald, the director of Miss World 2014. What's going on here? Tell me about the buttons, the cameras. What is all this? 12 monitors, 12 cameras, a fantastic live video game for a fantastic live show. Um, Ian here presses the buttons that make the pictures change. And uh, over here, Belinda, my PA, looks after timings and all that sort of stuff. We have a great time. It is all about the team effort. It really is. And uh, I'm looking forward to getting going in about 14 minutes' time. How does it feel hosting Miss World, your first ever Miss World? I'm not hosting it happily. Oh, how does it feel directing? I'm, I'm hosting. You're directing. That's let's it, get, yeah, our, let's get our roles right here. That's right. No, I, I'm really, really pleased to, uh, to, to be doing it. It's a great show. And, um, well, as I say, only 14 minutes to wait. Well, I think it's time for the Talent VT. Where's the button for that one? Ian will show you. It's this one here. Okay, Belinda. Okay, in three, three two, two, one. one. Run EVS. This year's talent auditions begin with an open session at which any of the contestants can take part. So we saw all 90 who wanted to audition for us in the talent show, but we had to get that down to a manageable group really quickly. We saw most of the people on the first day. There were some we couldn't see in that room. So we saw pianists separately, we saw the ice skater separately, and we saw the sand artist separately. We got it down to 20 something, and Donna and I then spent some time workshopping with them. And the semi-finalists are... Is the winner. Unprecedented in Miss World talent. We're in a situation where we are completely deadlocked. We've got it down to two. But what we've decided is we're going to get those two, Scotland and Malaysia, to perform live in the final. Then the whole jury will pick the winner. How exciting is that?
Here at Miss World, the girls have been pretty busy going through a lot of rehearsals and auditions. So it's probably time for a night out into town. Come on, Frankie, we're going to be late. First up was a bite to eat at Planet Hollywood. The girls getting in some pictures for their social media profiles. Then it was off to the West End for the second outing of the night. It's chilly out in London tonight, but that doesn't stop the girls from getting all glammed up for a night out. We're here at Her Majesty's Theatre to watch London's own Phantom of the Opera, and we're very excited to see the show. I heard it's a fabulous love story, and I'm looking forward to see it for the first time. Who's so excited tonight for Phantom of the Opera? The show has been running since 1986, and it's now in its 28th year. More than 140 million people have seen the West End show. After the show, the Miss World contestants met the cast and crew for an informal chat and a photo opportunity. Hey, I'm Courtney. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You finish before you sing. Every day I go. Just enjoy it. And you do. Yeah, let's do it. Then it was time to head back to the hotel, a perfect evening in life. Being a singer myself, I can completely appreciate the time and the effort that goes into these things. The songs, the voices gave me goosebumps. It was just absolutely brilliant, a real treat to see it again. The show was really amazing. We just watched Phantom of the Opera and it was amazing! Oh my goodness, I loved it, the girls love it, and I have goosebumps up until now. And the girls got to meet the cast, which I was pretty too. cool. I did too, I did I met the Phantom. I think you gave him a kiss on the cheek. Maybe I did. <laughs> and I think I'm gonna try out for the next Phantom of the Opera production. Are you serious? Show me your skills, Frankie. <clears throat> the Phantom of the Opera is here. Guys, we have a new Phantom. We are heading to the start of the show and I'm here with the opening act, Sky Blue. Sky, how are you feeling? Man, I'm buzzing right now. I feel unbelievable opening up Miss World with a song that has never been performed before called We Love Girls. Can it be any more perfect? And what's the atmosphere like backstage and with the girls? It's, it's electric, let me tell you. I mean, to say the least, these girls are so beautiful. They're from all around the world and it's just an honor to be in their presence, like for real. I'm so happy to be here. And what can we expect for the end of the show for the big finale? Well, I can't tell you everything. I got to keep some things a secret. So, you know, you're going to have to wait to see, but the opening is about to be insane. Okay, we're honored to have Sky Blue. I'm going to check out the vamps. When I first walked in, it was, oh my goodness, she has 15 suitcases. I'm severely underprepared. But <laughs> it's been great because she brought one case full of snacks. So I've really enjoyed her company. <laughs> this one's an early riser and I'm not a morning person. So at five o'clock every morning, Miss Rush is up and the lights are on and she's getting ready and I'm still hiding under the covers. I have so much dirt on this girl. Like, but good dirt, Mom, less yeah, dirt. I, but like, I, I, could, <laughs> I could wallop you in this. I know. <laughs> but when we are talking together and I talk something and I see her, and she just care about her phone. That's how I feel. <laughs> oh my God. I'm sorry. <laughs> Australia, Australia, wake up. She's, <laughs> she's like another good photographer, but it's okay. I, I promise you, the next photo will be the perfect one. Yesterday, for example, <laughs> she just took me one good picture. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> really? Oh my God. But Something I need to change about Sweden is, she had this okay. alarm clock. 
and it's like not a normal alarm clock. It's like you have to do mathematics to stop it. So she has an American accent because she studied in America, but she's from Indonesia. So when she says her name, it's always in the Indonesian accent. So she's like, "Hi, I'm Maria Rohajang, and I'll be like doing something this today." <laughs> so that's something funny. Genesis is just very engaging. She's very enigmatic, you know. So from the minute I met her, I just felt a very sincere warmth. Oh <laughs> my god. <laughs> Our room is a lot of fun all the time. Yes, definitely. <laughs> the way she laughs. And she always pulls up her nose like this. <laughs> she sleeps in a cheetah onesie with a hood, the hood up, and she has to have her ears covered when she sleeps. Love me, love me, say that you love me. So I'm always hearing her up, like, come on, Nicaragua, we have to go, we have to go for breakfast. She never sleeps. <laughs> when I wake up in the morning, she's awake. And I'm going to sleep, and if I wake up in the night, she's awake. And she's <laughs> always awake. She's like no, a ghost. No. <laughs> and how, does, how can someone make the room so messy in just one night? There's been a few times where I've got, gotten up and gone to the gym, and Queen has slept through, and she's still been sleeping when I've got back. She unpacks her stuff. I keep my stuff in, in a suitcase. suitcase. So you'll <laughs> see things overflowing from the suitcase. But yet, on her side, we have the lap shade as the belt hanger. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so this is like two different kinds of mix. Two, yeah, two different different kinds. We are the best. Yes, we are the best. <laughs> You guys, I'm looking for the vamps. Have you guys seen the vamps? The vamps. No, no, the vamps. No, no, no. I did see a, I did see a drum. There was a drum. drum. Uh, okay, well, I, I'm glad I found you. I'm here with the dream team for Miss World. You guys, what can we expect tonight? Oh. Well, it's an amazing show. Yeah, they've yeah, done amazing. They're going to be brilliant. They're all up for it. Amazing dresses. You know, the girls this year, are Sparkling. just sensational, sparkling, mm. gorgeous, wonderful. Yeah. They're really good. You have done so many Miss World. <laughs> what are you worried about? What can go wrong in oh, tonight's show? My well, my biggest fear is that when they get to the top 10, they, they're, they're so amazed that they've made the top 10, they, they, they go a bit frozen and, and <laughs> they have to remember where to go next. And one year, the leader of the top 10 walked off the stage and led the whole line into the audience. So <laughs> I just was, hope that number one that. of the top 10 knows exactly where our next position is. Otherwise, it could be a bit. Mike, what's what's the highlight of the show tonight? What's well, the highlight like? of the show is me being a vamp if they don't turn up. <laughs> Actually, I think. So you would be the new vamp. Oh, we would be the vamp. Yeah, we yeah, would be the vamp. Three, four. I'm ready for five. it. Five. 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 Yeah, yeah, it could be. You yeah, yeah, it could be a vamp. Okay, well, I'm going to give them a couple more minutes to get here. Okay, I'm going to go okay. look for them, okay? You guys okay. have so much work to do. Oh, Thank you so much oh, and good luck. Yeah. We love your work. Thank you. Bye, Frankie. Bye, Frankie. Who is he? Who is he? Frankie. Have you seen Frankie before? He's amazing. He's, He's the best. Brilliant. He's a good singer. <laughs> Mr. World yeah, singer. Mr. Remember? World yeah, talent. Yeah, he yeah. does. He's yeah, he was really good. Welcome to the Marriott County Hall, the official residence for Miss World 2014. We're going to give you a behind the scenes glimpse of what it's really like to take care of the girls to make sure that they are at home here in London. When the Miss World contestants arrive from the airport, they have many bags that need to be delivered to their rooms. The doorman is waiting and ready to be at service. The front desk staff are equipped to meet the needs and the requests of any kind. Hello, welcome to the London Marriott County Hall. Hi there, I'm looking for a room on the third floor. Oh, and can I have a view of the London Eye and the Big Ben? And I need my room to be at about 22 and a half degrees. Also, at dinner time, I like a ham and cheese sandwich cut diagonally. No crust, of course. Oh, a bottle of champagne. The cleaning staff are friendly and always willing to go that extra mile. After a long day, the girls get hungry and it's the hard-working kitchen staff who are preparing all their meals. Frankie, I need you to go to this fridge over here. Get me six onions and peel them for me, please. Have you ever cooked a meal, Frankie? Um. Have you ever my mom to cooks for me. How have you survived for so long? With my <laughs> intelligence and good looks. And this is the not grill. You grilled a steak before. Well, not on something this big. Watch those fingers of yours, yes? Yes. It's very stressful cutting onions, peeling onions. And I'm done. Six peeled onions. A little bit longer. 
the onions still have skin on them. This is the one I did without skin. Four so, layers. in fact, none of the onions have been peeled, apart from the one I did. Oh, yeah, I'm cutting up my onions. Watch your fingers, guys. I, I, like, I like what you try to do, okay. but it actually needs to be cut all the way through. You know? Oh, <laughs> well, you know what? I didn't realize that the staff had to go through so much just to make sure that the girls were at home here in London. Well, we really appreciate the work of the Marriott County Hall staff and all they've done for the Miss World contestants. We'll have to see you guys later, or as they say in the most English way, cheerio. The vamps, the vamps. So oh, I've been looking all over for you guys. Thank you for coming. Let's start with uh, an introduction. Who are you guys? I'm James. Hello. Hello, I'm Brad. I'm Tristan. I'm Connor. And we are the vamps. Hello. Yes. So there we have it, the vamps. So <laughs> how are you guys feeling for tonight? We're about to go live into the show. Tell me what's on Very your mind. Very excited. It's great to be here. Um, yeah, we came to England just for this. So it's awesome. Excellent. And where were you guys? Where were you before this? Spain. Spain. Yeah, yeah, we were in Spain. What were you doing there? Uh, we did a, an award show. Okay. Uh, we performed at an award show. Yeah, that was fun. And awesome. then before that, you were in the States. And yeah. tell me about that experience. That was a great experience. Uh, we went on Ellen show. Uh, we did a tour out there half a year ago. Just kind of released this, released our album out there. Um, it was great. So from Ellen to 120 of the world's most beautiful women, mm -hmm. women, it's a boy band. You guys must be pretty excited about that. It's quite scary. I feel like they're going to be really tall, and I'm quite small. They're all, so they're all quite, they're quite, quite tall. It's quite daunting for me, yeah. <laughs> any any favorites or any contestants you look forward to meeting? All of them. Yeah. We, we like I mean, all of them. Yeah. Obviously, we're obviously, kind of looking forward to the dance Obviously well. Miss England, because it's repping our home. Um, but yeah, we're looking forward to meeting all of them. Okay, well, these are the vamps, and we are going live to the Miss World final any moment now, so we'll see you after the commercial break. Yes. <laughs> 